Hey folks, my name is Dr. Magadia. I'm the infectious disease specialist here at the Regional Medical Center. I'm the chairman of infection control and I'm also the director of pandemic control, uh, pandemic response team at uh, the hospital. So the, the technology that we use, especially the, uh, the mRNA uh, vaccine technology for Pfizer and Moderna, it's not really a new technology. We have known this technology at least 12, maybe 15 years. Uh, we have uh, used it uh, again, uh, for rabies vaccination, uh, we've used it for Zika, mumps, and all those things. But as you realize, uh, there's no pandemic of rabies, there's no pandemic of uh, mumps. Uh, so this is a technology that we've known. Uh, when the pandemic started in, in March, April of last year, uh, the existing technology that we knew uh, on the mRNA, we reintroduced that in the, fa in the, the, in the clinical trials that we've had, you know, the phase one, phase two, phase three. We have the luxury of doing those simultaneously or in parallel to each other. So uh, we were able to uh, do those clinical trials without having to wait several uh, months, sometimes several years, uh, because we already know this technology. Uh, also, FDA kind of mandated to the uh, pharmaceutical companies that they have to have at least two months of safety data uh, before they move on. So um, it, it was, uh, we realized that it was granted EUA or emergency use authorization uh, uh, quickly, but this is not a new technology that we just came, up, uh, came out uh, last year.